day guys just a real quick one i thought i'd share with you um i have necked these cases down from 308 down to 260 remington to fit in my lovely trg22 that i have and um i've found a couple of boxes of lapua 308 brass that was a hell of a lot cheaper than factory 260 so i thought i'll neck it down works out quite well only thing is though when you neck down brass like this your case necks can get quite thick or too thick to actually release the bullet properly in which case these ones do after these are fired cases measuring the inside it measures at about 2625 263 so it's actually smaller than the bullet diameter so the bullets actually got to squeeze out of these things so it can cause spikes in pressure whatever anyway long story short this is the first 264 caliber that i've bought so i haven't got all the uh, trimming gear to go with it like the pilots and reamers and whatnot so i thought i'd stick them on the lathe turn the necks down and see how it goes and it's actually worked out really well so what i've got here is a 264 expander mandrel and uh, that i use for sizing the shell holder in a in a uh, drill chuck on the tailstock actually works quite well the um mandrel drives the case and it just kind of self centers in the shell holder there and i've got all my zeros and everything set so i'm hitting the same spot every time works out a treat so if you happen to have a uh, a lathe <laughs> it's a hell of a lot more expensive than buying a case neck turner but anyway i've already got the lathe so if i've got it might as well use it that mandrel's dialed into about two tenths so it's running dead true um so no worries there but you know show you how it goes so got the position where I go to every time see the mandrel grabs hold of the case and starts driving it come up to me zero so that way I know that every time this shoulder is going to be in the same spot got my DRO zeroed the Y axis I've got zeroed up against the shoulder of the case get cutting excuse the dodgy camera work I'm trying to machine a case with one hand and hold a camera with the other and then once I get close switch over to my DRO come down to zero that, 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 bang wind it back off and we're done Wind that off. Look at that. Beautiful case neck. And I've measured these for nick, uh, thickness variation, everything like that. They are all within half a thou of each other. So I've got a hundred cases that are all within half a thou, if not less, of each other. So I reckon that was a pretty good little <laughs> dinky life hack if you happen to have a uh, $8,000 lathe. <laughs> it's like they... Uh, the old timers say all you need is a thirty thousand dollar machine to build an eight dollar part anyway cheers guys